It's time for the East County Short Report. The most exciting contest of the night was at West Hills as they hosted Valhalla. With the Wolfpack leading 7-0, Brian Madrez evens it up with this toss to Cole Howard. Later in the second quarter, Valhalla's Keegan Baker puts the Norsemen up 14-7. In the third, the Wolfpack tied it at 14 and were driving for more, but after this hiccup, they had to settle for a field goal and retook the lead 17-14. Late in the fourth, Keegan Baker finds pay dirt again and puts the Orange Nation on top 21 to 17. But with 33 seconds left, West Hills pulls out all the stops and runs one of the nicest trick plays you'll ever see. They take the lead and the win. Wolfpack drop the Norsemen 24 to 21. The Battle of Spring Valley means the Matadors and the Monarchs. It was Monta Vista's homecoming and they wasted no time taking it to their crosstown rival. Here is junior Jamon McClendon making it 28-0, and here he is again making it 35-0. Monta Vista has a happy homecoming, and they beat Mount Miguel. Still hosting Helix. Cougars without starting quarterback Thomas Fishburne, and they struggled all night, and the Scotties flexed their muscles and bent some steel 41-7. El Cap hosting Grossmont. The Vaqueros push the Hillers for a quarter, but Grossmont gets it going thanks to the blocking of the Hiller offensive line and the legs of Chevelle Sterling. The Hillers 51 and the Vaqueros 7. And you know, their defense kind of had us a little sluggish. Second half, coach got on us, reminded us what we needed to do, and we got back to business. Second half, as you can see. Yeah, I think we, uh, you know, we shot ourselves to the foot a little bit. I think we came out a little flat. Uh, coming off a of bye week, you know, first away game. But uh, the kids are resilient, they played hard, and I think, you know, the expectations was that, you know, we wanted to come out here and, and, and play well, and I think in the second half we did. Uh, Don't forget to check out EastCountySports.com for more details and stats, and watch the East County Sports Report Thursday mornings on EastCountySports.com.